and we're going to ride the 14XX. Oh, I love that squeaking sound on the, uh, the old pannier. It's lovely. Shunter at Falmouth Docks has failed, but there's still plenty of work to be done. Use X Great Western Engine 5812 to build a train of wagons from around the docks. Once in the docks, there is no set path or further instruction. It will be up to you to change points as needed. Find, collect the wagons, and place them in berth 4A in the correct order. As you enter the docks, the order will be shown, as well as being available in the briefing at any time. Begin by driving forwards and down the slopes to the docks. Watch out for the low speed limit and steep gradient down. Yep, we want advance mode on. Where are we anyway? Over there and then do stuff. Welcome to Ninja Dropout, Elite 620, Woody TV, Seze, Stephen Jam and Rob Allen 955. Good to have you with us on the stream this evening. Slow down. But we've already lost 100 points, that's doing well. Right, where are we going? We need to go and get the brake van, uh, the gone flats. Alright, where is everything? We're here. That's where it's all got to go. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> There's the Conflats. There's a the brake van there, look. So we're going to have to bring him round, bring that out, run around. Right, so let's get on with that first then. So we need to get... Uh, I don't have a look at the track plan here. I've gone the wrong way, aren't Oh no, we can go forwards and then go back. There we go. Oh, it means nicely around that corner. Alright, so let's pull that one around there. And then we can go forwards and then back round. That's where our brake van is, that's where our com flats are, and these are the other two uh, wagons it wanted us to go and get. Let's turn that racket off. Oh, I've completely forgot how to do that. Yeah, that's a good call. Wagon numbers, that'll make life a lot easier. So rare that anyone does a good martial challenge where you've got to figure it out for yourself. But, uh, and this is a really good yard actually for doing that because. Uh, Change that point. Oh, it's a three-way point. That's where I'm getting confused. Right, let's go forward. Just 
speeding again. And then we can come back and stop. So having done that, we then come around here. Change that point. Change that point. So what we're going to do is go in, get the wagon, bring it out. Push them out of the way. No. Oh, go around the back here. Push them in, go and get those. Oh, they need to be around. Oh, and then we can turn that consist around. Um, where do we turn that around? No, that's fine because we're going to push them in and then push them around in there. So that's fine. Yeah. Oh, that, that's good enough. So we're going to come in go and get those and then we're going to push them back and then back here and then back down there and that will make the uh, brake band where we want it. See all the motion going on in here look. That's crazy. Alright, so we've got to go all the way back down here at uh, a storming 10 miles an hour. It is an absolutely lovely loco, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Oh, look at that sunset. Sunrise. It's six o'clock in the morning. That, that would be a sunrise. I didn't see the time. So we are going to go forwards and then we're going to not go that way, we're going to go that way and get everything. So that'll get us the first four parts of our consist. This is where we smack into the wagons and end the scenario early. Come on, you can do it. I'm sure I remember these ones being a little bit on the fragile side, so if you hit them too hard, then they do actually... They don't like it. Right. Go and get the others. At least with some freight on it, it doesn't take off like a sports car anymore. Yes, yeah, Ed, the wagons have to be in the correct order. 
AP Versi good. Dylan Parker, Jake Lynn, Sergeant Salt, welcome to the channel this evening. Come on, go the other way. Ah, we're going up a bit of a hill on this bit. Smack. Right, let's go and get the... Uh, let's go and put these somewhere. The reason for the tilt, by the way, is just because it's very, very tight track and it's actually not meant to run with a loco this big on it. It's actually only meant to run with an 040, and so because of the way that the physics of the track works, it's uh, not quite so friendly for these uh, shorter, con uh, the longer, slightly longer trains. And push these forward and get them out onto that line. Oh, I love the way that... look at this. See the smoke sparks? That's your fire getting shot out of there. Love it. Ooh. Righty, that's loud. Back to being able to hear, hear ourselves think. I keep wanting to speed up, but of course we're actually at the speed limit, so. So we come round here, and then we go back up there, and then we go round that one and put these wagons in, and then we can go and get the others. It's around here somewhere, if memory serves. I completely agree, Steve. We need someone operating the points and all of that jazz. Here we go. These are the wagons, but look, I've got to go where? I've got to go past that freeway to go back to them. Dear, oh dear. Keeping the cylinder clocks open because. Uh, I'm, uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, because I'm paranoid about, uh, you get nearly to the end of the scenario and then you, uh, that's when you actually, uh, end up blowing the cylinder cocks, the cylinder heads, sorry. Matt's failure show tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Welcome Dark Phantoms. I'm not really expecting a great score for this. We've already got minus 159 because of some uh, rather exuber exuberant driving. Let's get these into berth 4A, and that's the first bit done. When we come out here, I think I'm going to go this way, up to here, and then down to here. No, I'm going to go this way, stay in the yard, and then come forward round that way. Yep, that'll do. Right, it's on couple. Now 
remembering that now she runs like a sports car because there's no wagons hauled up to it. Hey TK, sorry I didn't uh, didn't see you log in there. Welcome to the show this evening. Right. Oh, she leans a bit precariously. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so we need to come forward there, reverse, and then once we're doing that, we're going to need to figure out which one we're going for. So let's go to dock 17. Let's get some water topped up. The last thing we want to do is fail because we forgot to put water in. That would be a terrible thing to do when you're driving a steam engine. This is the three-way junction over here, so we're going to stop on this bit just in, uh, just after it. Get all that noise shut off. Right now we're going to change the point and go back down that one and now we're going to get going and then we'll work out which one we go down first. So according to the list I want 720620 first so let's fly over there and see which one it is. Where are they? There they are. So I want the right hand line first. So that one. Uh, Dave, that one with the class 101? No, that's one of, one of the scenarios that comes with the uh, class 101 pack. Nearly fell over. Hey Felix the cool dude. Welcome. We like cool dudes on the show. Welcome Russell. I've not tried Nightbot, Woody. Um, I preferred the user interface on uh, Moobot, which is why I went for that one, and I'm certainly quite happy with it. These have got to be the other way round. Oh no. Uh Dave Um I've no idea. What was I driving? Oh the one with the peak? No, I think that was actually one of the ones that come to the peak, if I remember rightly. So this is a bit funky, so what we've got to do here... So I've got to pick these up in the right order, and then flip them around, so that 1195 ends up going to the... Um, 
Jason Speller, that wasn't set. So that 1195 ends up going into the wagon. So we've got a, uh, yeah, we've got to pick these up in this order and then turn and then uh, turn them around and push them in. Look about fussy. Yeah, we almost had that off the track. Right. Welcome Joshua, T. Gaganator and Russell, welcome to the show this evening. Right, now we need to go back and get these ones. Just trying to work out how I'm going to do the next move. So, let's try not to knock these ones off the track. Stealing my score. Right. If we run these over to here, I'm going to pull them up here, run around them, and then push them back into there. Yeah, I can do that. That'll do. <laughs> I know what Ed will be doing straight after this scenario is finished then he'll be back into this mission yeah if I could probably use a bit pushing actually I'm just trying to let the thing come down a bit so it's not just constantly blowing the safeties off all the time not like I need a lot of steam at the moment, to be honest. Right, so let's push the wagons up to Farmers Exchange, then we'll come back and then. Uh, nope, let's push them up to that one actually. That way we can push them straight down. Alright, let's do that. of a steep hill into Bournemouth Exchange 2.
get someone to come out and pin all these brakes on so the wagons don't roll away. Don't steal my score. We now change to that point and come up this way, and then we can push the wagon straight into that siding. go down a bit too much now I think. Then the boiler pressure go down for no good reason. Where are we? We are here. We just need to clear that point. No. So that's that into there. Push that into there. That one and that one. No and that one. No, not that one. Hey, you've got the blue line going the right way now. And now let's push these wagons in. Why did I just nearly call them coaches? Don't answer that. Yeah, you only get score at the end of this scenario. Um, but you can lose score all the way for doing speeding. And as you'll see in this particular hill, it's a very easy hill to speed on. Oh, ow! Like I said, it's a steep hill. I think it'll let me do that a few times, isn't it? Got him. Right. Oh, on this massive hill, let's get going. Don't need that anymore. We're on the last maneuver now. No power, and we're accelerating like a crazy person. One in 39 this bit. Let's get some brakes on to try and keep control of the wagons going down. One in twenty two at this bit. No rush, we've got 10 minutes to finish the scenario and this is the last movement I think. Oh no, we've got to go back to side the uh, siding up there.
I guess they're not in the right order. What was I wrong? Well, that's exactly the order it said they're supposed to be in. Yeah? So, 813, 820, 802, 721195, 720, 620, 790, 450. The only conclusion I can draw is that they're not in the right order, otherwise it would have given me a tick. Ah, oh, hang on, I haven't uncoupled the wagons yet. Twit. Hey, now we've got to get back up the hill. Right, so now we've got to go to there again. So with all the points are set, let's get going. Without speeding, stop stealing my score. Hey, thanks for the follow, Abogaz. Welcome to the, uh, thank much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. It's up the one in 22. Now we just get up the one in, uh, we've got a 15 limit here so we can uh, speed up a little bit. Get into Falmouth Siding 3 and then stop. And we're done. Well, I don't think I did too bad there. Let's see what the score gurus say. While I do that, I'm going to get a bottle of water. Eight hundred and eighteen points. Eight hundred and eighteen points. Ed, what do you think about that? <laughs> oh yes. That's how we roll. <laughs> 